Uh, okay, I kind of put the score cam a little bit wonky there, but uh, I'll uh, see if I can go in and correct it. There's a bunch of things I didn't do correctly here, I see. Yeah, I'll be back in a second. Yeah, it's just too damn hard to see through the little <laughs> camera. It's still not centered. Anyhow, so, okay, uh, Tim and uh, Dustin have a slight advantage because they just played this in the previous round. Thank you for following. Yes, I did this. This rig is built for the flipper rooms. <laughs> Door floor, doorways, yes. <laughs> My previous rig uh, does. Yeah my, yeah, my other rig doesn't go through here. Well, I mean that that's a lie because I actually adjusted my other rig as well. So I bought like new, I bought new, uh, new uh, posts for the other rig. So both my rigs actually fit in here. <laughs> I was here like before I started streaming from this location. I was here and measured, and I just, I just saw immediately that this is going to be a, it's going to be an issue, right? So, and it's not only the height of the rig; it's also like all the obstructions and the doorways and everything, right? So the Wi-Fi I had to uh, invest in, especially for this place as well. So. It's not only the frame. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> we are going for a ride. <laughs> yeah, that was one big tilt. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a highlight. See if I can motivate myself and go in there and adjust it.
Duke's the skill shop. All right, I'm back. Yeah, the the rig was actually really close to the game, so I, I don't blame anyone for for uh, almost knocking it over. Casualty of war. Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> Now I can't see the rollovers, yeah. There's always something. <laughs> yeah, I want the I wonder what that stress sound is about. It, it comes up when you have the spinners lit at times and... Thank you for following Uncle Steve Arino. Take care. Oh dear, oh dear. Thank for gifting subs. Okay, we're in uh, multi-ball here and uh, the rule of the game is to get the... Oh... At least you got one back. No! Yeah, that's right. You get a multi-ball restart. That's what happened here. And another cool feature of this game is that you can select your sound effect theme and uh, <laughs> obviously th we're playing the chimes version. And there's two chimes, actually it's a 73 or something like that and a, even earlier than that, 60 something. Is running out. Oh, it's your occupied. Oh man. Frustrating. Yeah, the 80s. I like I I play with the 80s, the electro 80s electro or something it's called. It has a lot of the uh, classic the uh, stern spinner sounds and and the uh, the drain kind of sound and, and a, a bunch of other things. Yeah, this is a really cool game. It's it's a it's really sad that it's hidden behind a twenty thousand dollar price price tag uh, because it's it's a really fun game. Uh, it's really simple, but it's. It's quite fantastic, to be honest. It's 
So who's uh, running away with the points here? I haven't been paying attention. Yeah, I wish they could uh, remake this game in some other license. So a little bit like they've done with the Can Crusher and like all those other games that they made multiple versions of, right? So you would play this in some other some other license but same layout. Okay, so I'm going to pay attention to the scores here now. So Jack has 3k roughly. Six drop targets need to go down and I don't I don't know which drop targets. Okay, he did a bond. Lock is lit on right. Eight drop targets, 24 seconds. Keep railing. <laughs> the drop targets increase. Now it says 10 drop targets. How weird is that? No bonus multipliers. Okay, 5k. And I think that's the score that we all need to chase, right? Yeah. Ball three. Jackie goes 800 points. levels what do you mean by that Zach is that uh... is it just because he completed one level and it and the next level of that mode becomes so much harder so they increase <laughs> that's bonkers Oh my god, reject, reject. Okay, spinner solid. Yeah. Not gonna cut the mustard. Get the lock. There we go. <laughs> okay, we need to get the bo locks back. One on the left, one on the right. I think the spinners are still lit. So there is some stacking going on here. Yeah, you get you get a multi ball restart there. Yeah, there's no grace on it, so yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, now we have the multiple restart. I didn't know she actually had one locked already. Alright, I think she maxed out her bonus, no?
Okay. So she has not played this game before. <laughs> okay, so I think uh, Jackie's in third. Player two, you're up. some decent points to be had there right so i think you're shooting for the half when it's asking for it this is probably what you want to do okay 70 500, some bonus, 7,700. Yeah, so we need another 5k-ish chase down. Player three, you're up. And I already forgot what Jack had, but I think he had 5,000 something. 5,200, or was Player it 3,000? 3, 3,200. Nah, 5,200. Oh, it actually says on the screen in the center there. It's just a little bit too small for me. Oh yeah, 5,200. Yeah, so this is the 80s sound package. It's glorious. Yeah, that that shot is really difficult. All straight into the gob. <laughs> nice. Okay, so get the locks back in there. Still three balls in play here. Oh, look at that. So now we need the uh, the first jackpot up there. Oh, did we get a jackpot or no? No, it's too late, I think. Shoot, cap the ball. Did he get it? No. He's still in two ball play, right? Oh man, that would have been a super jackpot if he had had the cap the ball jackpot. Yeah. That's not easy, not an easy shot to make. It's like hitting the chaos target. Uh, on Jurassic Park. Okay, so he's got 3,000 points bonus. Okay, so... Dustin is currently in the lead.
Yeah, what will the points look like? I mean, Dustin will sit here with 10. Jackie... 40... Yeah, she, she only got one point, I think. Eight, Tim... Yeah, the, the scores are gone now, yeah. All right, we're gonna play some Joker Poker. I'll be back here soon.